Oh, landmines and jellyfish. Welcome back to Knives, I guess. And some men just want to watch the world be called a vampire. You might have to be kind of old to get that one. We're, we're thinning the soup out here, boys. But last night we did a live stream and we went in on <clears throat> the Gin Knives Chubby Kit. Now let's take a look at what we're holding. And first things first and most importantly, the pocket clip is tip up, which is the Lord's Carry. We have got our bottle opener, we have got our glass breaker, we have got the translucent blue acrylic scales, we got a flipper tab, so let's flick the bean. And we got a one and a half inch D2 steel blade. And, uh, you know, I promised Jen I would do Cardboard Slayer with this after I did my week of carry, because, full disclosure, they sent this to me to check out, so do with that information what you will, I didn't pay for it out of pocket. But, you know, it did alright with the week of carry, you know, I like it for a small quiet carry, and the novelty on it's great. But, you know, we got in on Cardboard Slayer, and there were some surprises. So, you know, the first thing that happened is we went in on it with the factory edge, all right? And doing my normal push cut, holding it like this, and pushing down, it wasn't having it. All right, trying to go in, tip first, and tip down a little bit, like most of my cuts, it was not having it at all. Now, if you rocked it back and did a drag cut with it, it was able to bite in and cut for a little while. It didn't take long for it to stop really cutting well, so we stopped and we broke out the precision adjust and put a 16 degree edge on it. Then it started cutting like it was happy with life, but after an hour, it stopped cutting again, which uh, was a little confusing. The D2 on the Captain Kit took like four hours to start showing a bit of wear, but uh, this one just, it wasn't having it. And then uh, we changed the edge to 18 degrees. We reground re it to 18 degrees, and it was cutting again, but I had to push down really hard to get it to cut. I mean, really hard. And uh, even that, like, it still struggled with it. And uh, we ran that for about another 40 minutes. And this part of my hand started to hurt too much from pushing down on it to keep going. And it was already starting to show wear again, which was confusing. Because, again, the, uh, the edge on the Captain Knife Kit did just fine. Uh, you know, and, you know, outside of that, after that much pushing, it, it wasn't that uncomfortable. You know, the amount of pressure right here, that's to be expected, but, you know, my skin's not chewed up. The callus right here isn't raised and angry. Like, it was surprisingly comfortable for something this small that entire time. You know, if I hadn't been having to push down so hard on that 18-degree edge, it would have been just fine. Uh, the choil here... That made it a lot easier to control the short blade so I wasn't, you know, pulling back out of the cardboard or pushing through to the choil all the time. Uh, that really helped keep it under control with those cuts. Now, you know, we did push this thing way past what it was designed to do. You know, it was not designed with that in mind. It was not designed with breaking down ungodly amounts of cardboard and cutting linear foot after linear foot. Um, you know, that much is obvious just looking at it. But, you know, I kind of felt like it would do better, but I will say the blade stock here is kind of thick for something this short and tall. Um, I definitely would have gone with thinner blade stock, and it might just be that the bar stock they're getting in is this thickness right here. And planing a huge chunk of it down flatter and thinner to make something like this happen probably would have cost too much in time, manpower, and materials. Like, I kind of get that. Like, they got the distal taper in here, but, I mean... That steel is kind of a chunk all the way through to right at the very tip. And the very tip did cut a lot better than this. So I think we're looking at a blade steel or a blade stock thickness issue more than any, anything else. Um, if it would have been on thinner stock, it probably would have done a whole lot better. You know, and when we stopped cutting this, we switched over to an open L. Uh, I believe it's a number eight again, just because that was going to be a lot easier to cut with and keep the live stream going. But, you know, I, I almost feel bad saying it because this is like, between this and the captain kit and it doing pretty decent with the carry like this is the first time i've had something particularly critical to say about one of the gin knives and uh you know if you're using it as intended just popping tape off of boxes kind of like a, a toy with an edge you're never going to see that problem you know but if you're trying to break down large sheets of cardboard like you're going to see the cuts going to be a little bit challenging so you know let's just for future reference, you guys, whenever you do something like this, just thinner blade stock. That would have made a huge difference and turned this into a slicing monster. For sure. But, you know, outside of that, everything is pretty well designed. It functions really well. You know, off of the uh, three-finger grip, it was surprisingly comfortable the whole time we used it. So, you know, it's just overall, everything except the thickness of the blade stock turned out to be pretty good. And, uh, you know, 
I still really like the kit for what it is. I like it for the novelty. I like it for, uh, again, a small, quiet carry. Um, you know, it just, it does what it's designed to do fairly well. It just, when we, when we pushed it really, really hard, it started to show some, uh, some weaknesses. So, you know, you guys know, I love telling you what happened after Cardboard Slayer and letting you know what the results were. That was the results with this. And, uh, like I said, a little bit bummed out it didn't cut better, but, you know, it's, again, that it's just, it's just, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the blade thickness. But, uh, yeah, so all that being said... Thanks for looking at my crap. Uh, subscribers, you guys are awesome. You guys still keep coming in. I appreciate your time so, so much. Uh, comments, I love some feedback. Let me know what you thought about this. And uh, all that being said, y'all have a nice day.